This is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and we're gonna do another quick modification today. Now, after I did the biscuit test, I realized that we're really not getting enough heat through. I did go ahead and use a thermometer to test our output temperature and on the edge of the box. And what I'm thinking is happening is that most of the heat is flowing completely through and going straight up and out the chimney. So what we wanna do is we wanna actually create an official baffle. Now, when they make a baffle, what they normally do is drill a series of holes, starting with small holes on the firebox side and working to larger holes on the uh, chimney side. By doing this, what happens is, is that you'll allow smoke to come up through. Now, I'm not gonna drill holes. I'm gonna put slots. I wanna be able to keep the charcoal basket as complete as possible. So by putting some angled slots in there, I think that we're gonna get what we want. I already went ahead and took it all apart and uh, got the ashes out of there. Um, it's not as important to get the ash out in one of these as it is in a pellet grill. You get a bunch of ash in a pellet grill and it just won't run. But I took everything apart and I'm gonna grab that basket real quick. So this is how it looks after I cooked the last cook, which was chicken on it. And it didn't get too dirty. There's a few drops on it, but uh, if it was a little hotter, probably most of that would have uh, burned. But uh, you see, it's just pretty greasy. So I'm gonna set this here for now. And you'll have to bear with me. I can't see anything because the sun is directly in my eyes. So I hope you can see me and everything looks good. So now this side over here is where the firebox is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my angle grinder and I'm gonna cut a series of slots in it like this. Now, if I do use it for charcoal, the ash will be able to drop through. It will also actually increase the air circulation, allowing the charcoal to burn better. I have no plans on using it for charcoal, but I would like to keep it in one piece. Now, if this doesn't work, then I will be looking at ordering a actual piece of metal for a baffle. I took the cookie sheets and the cookie sheets are just not big enough for such a large smoke chamber. They work really good for putting underneath food and catching drippings, but they're not gonna work very good for dispersing the uh, heat throughout the chamber. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off camera. Make sure that if you use an angle grinder or any other tool that you use a proper safety gear like gloves and eye protection. I just wanted to show you that this is a tool that I'll be using, and uh, I really like these things. They're really nice for uh, just being able to be portable and doing whatever you want. So we'll be right back. So I went ahead and cut that, and I'll pop a picture up here, and then you'll be able to kind of see it here too, is that I cut these slots at a slight angle, and I don't know if that's gonna make any difference, but I kind of like the fact that we can bend them a little bit and give uh, kind of a change to the airflow. I might take and either put some kind of a uh, crowbar in there or just a heavy duty screwdriver and give them each just a little bend to kind of create the airflow and give it a little bit of a gap. I'm thinking that if I bend it near the bottom this way, so that way the slot is facing up, that the airflow will work right through there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and uh, fire it up. If it needs more slots, I can just cut more slots in here. There's no reason that I can't do more. I am trying to do less and then add to it. So we'll figure that out later, but that's a simple modification. Of course, you can use a drill and just drill out holes in a pattern. And that's like I said, how most of the baffles will actually work. So I'm gonna get this thing warmed up and uh, make some snacks. So thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.